Hi, friends. Um, so I thought it was fitting that for our last Reader Loud for the year, um, we would read a Roald Dahl book. So this is called The Magic Finger by Roald Dahl. I have, I've actually never read this. Um, and if you see by the thickness of this book, it's just one short story. Um, it's only about 62 pages long. Um, and from first glance, there are not chapters. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing about 10 pages a day, um, which will take us about six days to read because there's about 62 pages. Um, if it gets really interesting and I keep reading one day, well, then that's okay too, right? Um, so The Magic Finger by Roald Dahl. And it's illustrated by the same illustrator that did um, lots of his other books, including uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which we've already read, and uh, the BFG. So here's our first image from this book today. The farm next to ours was owned by Mr. and Mrs. Gregg. The Greggs have two children, both of them boys. Their names are Philip and William. Sometimes I go over to their farm to play with them. I'm a girl and I'm eight years old. Philip is also eight years old. William is three years older, he's 10. Oh, all right then, he's 11. Last week, something very funny happened to the Gregg family. I'm going to tell you about it as best I can. Now, the one thing that Mr. Gregg and his two boys loved to do more than anything else was to go hunting. Every Saturday morning, they would take their guns and go off into the woods to look for animals and birds to shoot. Even Philip, who was only eight years old, had a gun of his own. I can't stand hunting. I just can't stand it. It doesn't seem right to me that men and boys should kill animals just for the fun they get out of it. So I used to try to stop Philip and William for doing it. Every time I went over to their farm, I would do my best to talk them out of it, but they only laughed at me. I even said something about it once to Mr. Greg, but he just walked on past me as if I wasn't there. Then one Saturday morning, I saw Philip and William coming out of the woods with their father. They were carrying a lovely young deer. This made me so cross that I started shouting at them. So here they are hunting. So this is an interesting thing because we have hunters in our class and then we also have kids who may disagree with hunting. So interesting dynamic. The boys laughed and made faces at me and Mr. Greg told me to go home and mind my own P's and Q's. Well, that did it. I saw red and before I was able to stop myself, I did something I never meant to do. I put the magic finger on them all. There's her magic finger. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I even put it on Mrs. Greg who wasn't there. I put it on the whole Greg family. For months I had been telling myself that I would never put the magic finger upon anyone again. Not after what happened to my teacher, old Mrs. Winter. Poor old Mrs. Winter. One day we were in class and she was teaching us spelling. Stand up, she said to me, and spell cat. That's an easy one, I said, K-A-T. Well, you're a dumb little girl, Mrs. Winter said. I am not a dumb little girl, I cried. I'm a very nice little girl. Go and stand in the corner, Mrs. Winter said. Then I got cross and I saw red and I put the magic finger on Mrs. Winter good and strong. And almost at once, guess what? Okay, so by the way, we know that teachers now would never call kids dumb if they don't spell something correctly. Mrs. Winter is not a very nice lady. Oh, so she says, guess what? <gasps> whiskers began growing out of her face. They were long black whiskers, just like the ones you see on a cat, only much bigger. And how fast they grew. Before we had time to think, they were out to her ears. Of course, the whole class started screaming with laughter. And then Mrs. Winter said, will you be so kind as to tell me what you find so madly funny, all of you? So with her magic finger, she made whiskers grow out of the face. And there's the kids laughing, laughing. And when she turned around to write something on the blackboard, we saw that she had grown a tail as well. It was a huge bushy tail. I cannot begin to tell you what happened after that. But if any of you are wondering whether Mrs. Winter is quite all right again now, the answer is no, and she never will be. <laughs> oh no. The magic finger is something I have been able to do all of my life. I can't tell you just how I do it because I don't even know myself, but it always happens when I get cross, when I see red, then I get very, very hot all over, then the tip of the forefinger on my right hand begins to tingle most terribly, and suddenly a sort of flash comes out of me, a quick flash like something electric, 
It jumps out and touches the person who has made me cross. And after that, the magic finger is upon him or her and things begin to happen. Well, the magic finger was now upon the whole of the Greg family, and there was no taking it off again. I ran home and waited for things to happen. They happened fast. I shall now tell you what those things were. I got the whole story from Philip and William the next morning after it was all over. Okay, so I already went over my 10 pages because this book's very interesting, but we're going to stop at 16, um, and then we'll pick up tomorrow. You know I like to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger, um, so we'll find out what happened to the Greg family tomorrow. Thanks for listening.